Yo, what's up YouTube? So, uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, if you look here, we have our cam kit finally that, uh, we've been waiting on. Uh, it's no bottom end kit, but, uh, if you remember that whiteboard I showed you, I'm gonna show you that real quick, and then, uh, we'll get into all this good stuff here. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to 303 Care for sending me all these products. Really good stuff here, and as soon as the weather gets nice, I'm gonna go out there and wash the car, because she needs a bath, even though she hasn't been driven in probably four months. A couple months ago, if you watched that video, I talked about what it's gonna cost, and, you know, all my options here. Well, what's funny is the less likely is pretty much what we're going with right here. Don't worry about that 427. That's definitely not happening. So, we're more than likely having an LY6. Now, that's going to turn into a 408. The 6K, that's probably questionable. It's probably right around that. But I was thinking, like, if you go Thompson Motors or another company, um, which is kind of where I was basing that off of, it's probably going to cost a right around that, if not a little bit more. But I'll get into more details as to, you know, how we're getting the 408. Um, so I picked up a set of LS3 heads here, so we'll go ahead and circle this. Cross that bad boy out. Oh yeah, the, back to the, the 416. Yep, that's not happening. Um, Maggie. Eh. Nope. Um, yeah, so, and then uh, I'm actually going to make a new list here in a second. Of, you know, all the stuff I'm going to need, that's going to make a lot more sense. So, let's talk. Some of these are from the old, uh, the old kit or my old motor i was able to save like these dual valve springs here I actually saved the i saved the box on a lot of things so right in here we have these texas speed dual valve springs pretty sweet huh um i do like texas speed and uh you're probably wondering why there's a cam motion cam here we'll we'll, we'll get into that in a second um my uh push rods here these are the 7400s there's no none of these are bent or anything so I can still use those. It'll be fine. Uh, we have our LS7 lifters. These are brand new. I didn't get the Johnson ones. Uh, I would say if you want to spend the 500 and plus bucks to get them, go ahead. But you can get these for under 200 bucks. And uh, yeah, and this is also probably the most name miscellaneous name brand kit you've probably ever seen put together. But there's many reasons why. So uh, yeah, there's these bad boys. Oh, they smell wonderful. Get a good whiff of them. Whoo! Nice old oil. Hey, what kind of oil y'all use too? That's what I'm really curious. What oil do you guys use? Um, BR7 spark plugs, because you know we need them. Um, those are what I had in my old heads. Uh, oh, this cam retainer. You actually, I mean, technically, you won't need these. But me, I had to buy a whole new cam retainer. Because, uh, I mean, it's not bad to get a new one of these anyway. But uh, my old one... I, when I was taking the motor apart, I cracked the, uh, I stripped out the bolt and I was, I'm not going to drill it. I don't need that block. So I snapped it off with the pry bar to get the cam out. Well, turns out I actually probably could have used that again. Saved 25 bucks, you know, this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, ARP, uh, balancer bolt. And then in here, this is, I was also able to see these. This is my, uh, timing chain gear. That's my time and chain. And then uh, you'll need these three little cam bolts. Three of these come together. ARP. Um, I'll try to list all the uh, the part numbers on the bottom here. Or in the description. I definitely wasn't using the same oil pump. Just like with my lifters. I wasn't trusting that. There's probably so much debris and everything in there. So I always go. The last one I had was the 10295. I believe it's high pressure standard volume. And then uh, I probably have to change the spring again on that ls3 valley cover keeping that uh there's no point in doing that but if you need to if you need a cam okay if you're new here you need all this and uh you know also if you're new here i have this uh wonderful lsa blower here that uh pretty much all this is for and uh making me go in debt but hey we're good we're all good you know uh i got all my cover or uh, gaskets here valley cover gaskets BTR LS9. I think these are like number one gaskets in the game. Uh, what's this one? Oh, my valley cover gasket. Rear main seal cover. I didn't do that on the last one. So, or just the gasket. I needed that. And then your time and chain cover or gasket comes with everything you need. I actually didn't know it came with water pump gasket. And I ordered a separate water pump gasket. So, I got two now. You know, I figured. And then, if you're wondering what these bad boys are here, these are some LS3 heads I picked up. And uh, 
I'm gonna get these ported. So, uh, I really kind of wanted to go M311 heads, but I figured, by the time I bought, I got these for an excellent deal. Uh, good friend or pr good person I know in the GA community helped me out, or the holding community at GTO, gave me a great deal on these. And then I was like, you know what? By the time I get these ported, you know, I'm probably gonna save over a thousand bucks. And these, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even think it's like 10 horsepower less than the M M311s. So I could be wrong, but I think, and I'll I've talked about this before, but a 2650 M311 heads on like a bigger application would probably do a lot better. So. I don't think M311 heads are gonna make a difference on this setup, honestly. So get these ported with a ported blower and it should be able to roll. So let's check this cam out. We are made in the USA and uh, you know, GATJ, cause you know that's me. Alrighty, here she is. Woo! This thing is uh, pretty sweet, man. Never thought I'd be with a cam motion. But uh, they have like a little different designs, like gold in there, so the silver, which is pretty nice. I mean, you'll never see it, but I don't know, it just looks, it's more beefier, you know? So, come up here, cam motion, and uh, I wish I could show you guys what's underneath my thumb, but here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you guys a little explanation here. So, basically, I have a new tuner. Nothing against mobile tuner, Sam, short tune, cool guy, highly suggest them still, but... I'm going a different route and my boy hubby i've or habibi sauce whatever you want to say he is a an excellent tuner um out of the dmv and i think for my setup and he knows what i want and he's willing to work with me and just you know i've always known him and just we've talked and I, I really trust him for this so i think that this is my best bet and that's what we're gonna go with as of right now and well not as of right i mean i am like this is his custom cam he told me i can't give any specs out but i will just say it is probably it, it's a lot bigger than my one. I had a 226, 244. This one, like, adds several numbers to it to get to where this is. And it's uh, it's pretty nice. So I'm pretty excited that, you know, I'm going with cam motion. This is a pretty cool box. Cam motion. I don't know. We'll see. I've always heard of them. I never really knew, like, what they were. So, yeah, you're probably wondering, one bad eight, uh, where is the motor at? Or why do you have all this stuff? And there's a uh, new motor laying around here. Well, a couple reasons why. So, I've been in touch with a fellow G8 owner, and he actually has his own shop. And he's going to help me build the bottom end. So, we actually got an LY6, 60 iron block. And uh, currently should be at the machine shop uh, in the next couple of days. So, hopefully we're on the right track on that goose. So, I'm pretty excited. Like, this is actually all going down way better than what we were uh a couple months ago so got the top end and then uh hopefully you know once we know what the bottom end looks like then we can uh you know i can get that order but you gotta get to the machine shop first they give us the specs and uh hopefully we go 408 and see what it does from there all right here's some of the main things that we're going to need i call this other bs because uh it's kind of like the extra stuff that no one really takes in uh or thinks they're actually going to need and it costs a lot of money so we're gonna need the LSA pulley. I think we're gonna try a 10 and a half lower. Somebody talked me out of it. I don't think it's gonna work. But LSA pulley, ATI, balancer, you know, it's probably like 500 plus the pulley. Six, probably like 650-ish for that. Motion Rigs Works catch can, that's like, you know, 300 bucks. Uh, Cause I, or there's the Mighty Mouse one, they both for the same amount of money, but I think the Motion Rigs Works one's pretty nice. And then uh, I gotta reinforce the brick on this uh, blower here. If you know these things underneath, there's like that little radiator thing. It needs to get uh, some extra tacted welds on it because they tend to go bad pretty quick, uh, especially, you know, pushing what we're about to do here. I think that's uh, my best bet. So it's like a hundred bucks. So I might as well get that done. Uh, 103 throttle body, because we're doing the port, we definitely need to get uh, like a 103 throttle body on that thing. That's where they're really gonna wake it up. And then the ice tank is my number one thing here. I've been trying to get an ice tank for, I don't know how long at this point. I talk about it all the time, saying I talk about a lot of stuff, but um, I kept saying I wanna get an ice tank. So I think this time is the best bet because with this ported LSA, and if I get the export, we are going to, uh, you know, run into some problems as far as IATs go. So if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at one bad eight. Any questions you have, let me know. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.